not the economy, not crime on the streets. Immigration has now moved to the top of voters' minds. A new Harvard-Harris poll finding 35 percent called it the most important issue facing the country today, followed by inflation, the economy and jobs, and crime. That snapshot of sentiment likely stemming from new realities playing out in cities large and small. The city of Denver taking in 37,000 migrants, providing them with housing and jobs, and asking the federal government to help with the cost. We have spent more than $40 million this year. We are on path to spend about $180 million in 2024, which would be more than 10 percent of our city's budget. The state of Texas losing its battle to secure the border itself. The U.S. Border Patrol will now be able to remove razor wire state officials installed to try to prevent migrants from entering. The Supreme Court Monday siding with President Biden's Justice Department. The Biden administration was arguing that the Texas law enforcement was essentially circumventing and usurping the power of the U.S. federal government who has exclusive purview in the enforcement of immigration law. Critics say the ruling makes our country less secure. This isn't just a victory for Biden's open border policy. This is a victory for the cartels who are now going to be able to exploit the border more easily to push drugs, criminals, and national security threats into our country. Texas Governor Greg Abbott says despite the high court's ruling, he is not backing down, continuing to use Texas National Guard troops to, quote, hold the line in Eagle Pass. Meanwhile, a bill to deal with some of the many border issues appears to be nearing completion in the Senate. On Capitol Hill, I'm Christine Frizzow.